Okay guys, DC here again. Okay, where I've brought you, or where we brought you today, is a rather special uh, type of horse ranch. Because it's not actually a ranch. Uh, it's called the Rosle. And what it is, is an old folks home for horses. Now, the idea was that you know the way it is. What do you do with an old horse? Well, I mean, there's... There, uh, my wife just slipped. She said you can always give, make a horse, um, bring it to the horse butchers and things like that. But you know, an old horse would be like an old cow. Who would want to eat it? And the next thing is, is that um, um, there was a foundation that was made here for horses that were uh, actually getting on in age, so that they could. Uh, uh, there's a little dog here. Hi there. Hello. Oh. There you are. <laughs> so, the idea about the horse, um, I was saying this horse ranch, it was a home for older horses, for seniors, so that they could pass on, pass away, and, uh, you know, just finally die peacefully. And I'll see if some of my old friends are still here, because there's some that are really old. So we'll get on to that in a little bit as we get further on. Okay, so here are some of the pensioners. I'll try and zoom in on a few of them. And now, I don't know the age of, of these guys actually, but they are a lot older maybe than they look. I mean, you know, I, some horses can get actually pretty old. On the other hand, the fact is, is that they're all in the fields, which means that we don't get to see them really close up. I really always love this place for that, because there's some really old ones. If I can get there, some of them actually, uh, if you've ever seen a really, really old horse, they get humpbacked. Well, not humpbacked, actually, their, their back goes into a U shape. They do get a bit humpbacked, I guess. Where is this one? Here it is. You see, with time, they kind of get humpbacked. That's because their, their back goes into a U shape. And they're all going off. So let's see if we can see anything else. Okay, so there are horses here, as I promised. But I wanted to show you this very special place. So, let's see what's in here. I hear something. Well, there are, there is one. There's one over there, but he seems to be separate from everybody else. Is that because he's sick? I don't know. These aren't that old, actually. 1995. 19, 1983. Doria. Well, this is Doria. She's born in 1983. That is a 20-year-old horse. There must be a reason that she's here. I mean, sometimes it's because they're a bit... Either they're sick. I mean, a few times it's... I've had one or twice. Hello. Hello. They're a little bit uh, Hello. out of sorts. I don't know, this one seems a little bit restless. So I'm not exactly going to go too close. Hello. Yeah, I don't know what's the matter with this one. Hello, Doria. Doria? Yeah. Yeah. Doria, do you know who you are? Seems to, yeah. So I'm just going to try and get a... Hey, oh, really. uh, here you are. Yeah, there's Doria. So here, Crazy Farm. This one is for you, actually. I thought I'd show you a few horses. Yeah. So, I mean, there were some really, really old ones, but I think that we haven't been here now for two years, so I guess, in a way, the really old ones might have passed on. Well, we'll see later on. Okay, there's no horses in here, but I thought just for the fact that you'd like to see how their boxes are. So you see they... They have a lot of place, and here you can see this, for example, this is 
poker's box with 19 he's born in 1981 next to him is france from 1983 here's one worth mentioning that's a donkey chico we'll try and see if we can find him chico 1975 so he's still around actually a bit like i feel a bit like i'm looking at somebody i shouldn't be looking at in a way but here you can see the horse there look at its back you see, that's something that you don't often see. And I'll get back to what I was saying in our earlier videos. I used to like bringing the children here to show that, once again, not only people age, animals age as well. And that's what's really nice here is that we're letting them age uh, and, you know, go away with dignity. I don't know if we should say it that way, but I think it's still, it's still true, even for the horses here. If nobody else wants them, that's, like I say, that's what this foundation is for is that a certain number of horses can actually just live out their life. Okay, some of our friends again. Oh, just hanging around, aren't you guys? Yeah. Kind of nice to see them like that. And here are three friends from earlier. Let's try and get them. Yeah, that's our three. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's them. That's the three friends that we saw earlier. Just at another angle. Also, the horses do seem to stay in little groups. I guess it's the ones that get along well together. Okay, here's a quick one. I just saw our friends, the donkeys. And maybe looks like some problems happen there. But one's coming over to say hello. That's kind of nice. I have to kind of stay this way. Hi there. Hi there. Yeah, hi. What happened to your buddy over there? Can you see him? He must have hurt himself. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, here he is. Got something on his head, like a bandage or something. I haven't seen that type of thing very often. Of course, I'm not around horses and donkeys that much. Oh, here's another one. Here they are. Hi, guys. You know something? You're going to be on YouTube. What do you think about that? Looks like you don't really care, do you? You're going to be on YouTube. See the stripe on that one? Okay. You want to make a bit of noise? Why don't you try to make a bigger noise for us? You know, people are going to listen to you all around the world. If you make a bit of noise, it might even have somebody in Alberta, actually, that'll hear you. Hey there, buddy. Boy, that looks like a bad wound of some type. Okay, we'll be back soon.